if you never really got a woman off of the strength of who you are, then you should not be out here sitting on a podcast talking about, oh, women don't deserve this or, oh, I'm an alpha. So that's why I know and all women are moving. Nah, bro. Yeah, they have their flaws. Men, we have their flaws. It, I mean, we have our flaws. It is what it is. I think a lot of that comes from divide and conquer, which is, you know, on a whole deeper surface that's just right. planted for us to go to war against each other. For sure. Spiritual warfare is a thing. Yeah, but mm-hmm. these dudes that sit up here just try to come for women all day because they never really had bitches. And I'm only saying it because I'm not calling women bitches. I'm just saying they never really had, you know what I'm saying? They never really had that type of play or that type of game coming up. They get some money and they feel like now they got the game. Nah, what you got is the game fucked up. Yeah. You don't really know what you're doing or talking about out here. That's why I never went down that road because... I was blessed to, you know, be able to, you know, carry myself well and, you know, always had no problem getting women and whatnot. So if I see their flaws, I'm going to try to help them out. Like, I'll point them in the right direction. If they don't go, cool. I'm going to keep moving and leave you over there. But yeah. that's I'm not trying to belittle nobody out here. Or I'm That's just not the type of podcast I'm trying to set up. I'm going to have fun. You know what I mean? I'm let people get their shit off. If you got some shit that I want to, you know, debate, cool. I'm going to do that. But I'm going to leave it at that. But... All that other bullshit is here today and gone tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> For sure. And lead. Okay. Yeah. Men were meant to lead and their voices matter. And the, another thing is a lot of things that we're running into now is uh, men who are very. Like, I'm confused as to if you know the power you carry as a man or if you want to be closer to a woman. And it's not to be it's it, because I need to know. So mm-hmm. it's OK if that is what it is. But it's mm-hmm. men being men portraying that they want to be men, but they don't really know what it is to be a full scope of a man. And it's power in that. I yeah. think it's power in that, just like it's power Absolutely. in being a woman. So if you're going to choose to be a man and you ain't, you know, you're not uh, no other way. Let's actually be what we are and, yeah. and get the power out of what we are. There's power in being a man. And and with that, to comment on that, for one, and f- for one, you can't fake it. You can't fake that shit. Um, for two, um, being a pro- having money don't, Mm. It's like when they say having money don't unlame a lame. Like if you don't know how to lead, that's what I say. Having money don't make you a leader. Right. You can have all the money in the world and still be a bitch. Okay. So having money or having a gun or having a tough face, whatever, that shit don't make you a leader. That shit is from within. Being a man, like you said, that shit, you can't fake it. But in the same breath, you have to observe that from an actual man. So... Those who are men out here, you have to spew that back into the community with these young black men out here because they learning it from themselves or from their moms or from social media. Right. That's not going to do it. So I was blessed. I didn't grow up my father in my life, but I was blessed to have great father figures, stepdads, grandfather, uncles, whatever, you know, big brother. You know what I'm saying? So. I was able to see I was able to take pieces from all of them and put it together like Voltron. But. I was able to have that. If I didn't have that, I would have been fucked because mm. I would have just been raised by my mom or my grandmother and I would have been just as lost as the next, you know what I'm saying? Right. Non-leader out here. Yeah. So pick, it don't have to be your dad. If you have a listen, I'm not, I never went around my whole life. Oh, I ain't got my dad. That's why I'm like this. Nah, fuck that. I picked up the pieces from whoever else. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you out here, like if you don't know, if you can't really find yourself in a leading position or a man position for per se, like me and Nova Kane are talking about, Pick that shit up from somebody. Get out here and find a mentor. You know what I'm saying? Find someone who can yes. put that into you. Okay. you you're not going to get it from social media. You're not going to get it from your mom. You're not going to get it from your sisters. You have to pick that shit up from a man out yes. here. Yes. Like, don't think that shit is going to come. Just don't say, oh, I'm going to watch Andrew Tate videos and Kevin Samuel videos, and I'm going to learn how to be a man. No, no. you have to go yes. and get that from an actual mm. man. Get off your ass and pick that shit up from somebody. Then you'll learn a thing or two. Yeah, that's... Vi- Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I had to get my shit off. I had to get my shit off. I love I'm, that. Speaking yeah. nothing but facts there. Yeah. I'm a big advocate for that. Yes. 